Hi friends, I just got to the mall. Somebody was in my favorite parking spot. <laughs> They're everywhere actually. I don't know if I could film them with this. This view. Hold on, let me turn you around. Apparently they didn't like me parking here. <laughs> I was very careful. I went around slowly. But they're moseying back off to be with their group. <laughs> anyway, the mall doesn't open for 30 minutes. Well, the stores, the mall is open. <sighs> and I'm going to walk. I'm going to be like the old folks that do the power walk on a rainy day in the mall and in the winter. Gonna go do that. I think I want a coffee, but I don't think anywhere serves coffee. Oh no. Oh no. I need to sell that. I got these from the thrift store. They're from an expensive store I can't afford. It starts with an A. Anthropology. There we go. This, this outfit is thrifted, except for the coat, which is from the outlet here, the Macy's outlet. Yeah, I'm gonna go do that get a coffee when I can. I have had some Honey Nut Cheerios just because I knew I needed some energy, but I might get some food. We'll see how my stomach's feeling. It's a little... It's like once I recover, I have a few days and then something pisses my stomach off again. <laughs> Alright, but we're gonna go walk. Let's go walk. I didn't do my hair. That, that, that's just... Hello. If you're new here, I'm Stephanie and welcome to the vlog. Let's go walk. Hello. There's an the old furniture shop. It used to be right there. Ooh, there's a slippery. And I, there's a big truck, and people are like chucking stuff off, like seriously letting the boxes hit the floor. Let the boxes hit the floor. Let the boxes hit the floor. Let the boxes hit the floor. No. Sorry. Don't know what came over me. <clears throat> Everything said Halloween. And I looked through the open door. It's gonna be a spirit Halloween. <laughs> now that doesn't connect inside the mall. It's only outdoor access, that door right there, I believe. I don't think there's any way to get there otherwise, but if you're not from the US, or even, I don't know if it's like an East Coast thing, but Spirit Halloween is known for taking over empty spots. <laughs> and we're losing the one that used to go into an empty grocery store near us because they finally converted that into like some indoor baseball situation, I don't know. Oh, it seems they're already open, interesting. I know they do gaming here, so maybe they're getting ready for something. It's like 10.40 or something. I don't know, a lot of the stores are at 11. Anyway, I'm doing like, I've repeated those Spanish lessons. I don't know how many lessons I made it into, maybe 12 or something, 15. Yeah, but I decided that it was getting a little, like I was so slow compared to the, the student they have answering the questions that I needed to go back to the beginning and repeat that again to see if I can get things in my head a little more and my like, speed is just way far behind. <laughs> as much as I love languages, I'm just really, really bad at them. So here's a piano store and this is some random what you pet snakes reptile, reptile pets. I don't know. And then there's like a hair cutting place. This was a retirement store. I don't know if this is the one that's turning into the, a bowling alley and then a trampoline park upstairs. I can't remember. This used to be food. Maybe. I don't know. It's been empty so long and I can't remember which one is where. I feel like, yeah, that might be it. Anyway, the music is so loud, so I'm gonna go back to a walk-in and listening to my 
Espanyol. Hello. <laughs> I just went in the bin store. The price changes every day and today, Wednesday, is the one day when everything is a dollar. So I got three things, but I sanitized maybe like 12 times. <laughs> Everything's sticky. <sighs> anyway, music is starting, so yeah. Back to our walk and I'm hungry, so <laughs> I need something to eat. I'm leaving without jeans. I did get that black shirt because I have one of theirs I got years ago. Clearance. It's like pinky purple. I might have worn it yesterday. No, I didn't wear it yesterday because I was not dressed for the office. I, I wore it Monday. But no jeans because they just didn't have the exact right fit. I think I'm going to order size zero short. I don't know why I suddenly need to wear short. I haven't shrunk in stuff like seven, but all of their regulars are like two inches too long, like two full inches. And I guess it's just the style, but gone are the days that I want to like wear the heels off of like the backs of my cuffs. I want, if I'm going to get jeans without holes, then I want them to fit nice lengthwise so I can also wear them like, to the office or whatever the volunteering so yeah I have to go home and order those I really wanted to try on a double zero short too but they didn't have that all they had was a size 2 short and the length did seem good like I would have wanted it like a half inch longer but yeah the regulars were just way 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 too long sitting down it didn't seem too bad for the shorts and since the zero is still a little bit big and they're low rise I can just pull it down so it should be good yeah the twos I got a hula hoop and I do have twos in other cuts of jeans from them I can go down to double zero I can go up to two just depending on what it is if it's something tight and stretchy I can usually get away with a two 
if it's like a thicker material that stays up better and not like a jegging that would start to fall down because it's just all stretch. Oh, they were so nice. And I couldn't find anything in the piles. Even when they were pulling things out, they would randomly be the wrong thing because it's just a hot mess. But yeah, they were a huge help and I'm gonna go home and order those. I have to decide if I want to order just two pairs of those because I really want that cut. And I'm gonna let go of like half of my skinny jeans that I've had to wear for the past, I don't know, 10 years that mom jeans were the thing. This store always just continued to sell the skinny jeans and that was the only thing I could find low rise in. So I would just, every couple of years, get some low-rise skinny jeans because that's the best I could do. But now I'm all excited that low-rise is back and it's in other cuts, so I don't have to get mom jeans that are up to my nipples. So yeah, I'm gonna let go of my least favorites of those, the ones that never get worn unless I just absolutely run out of laundry. We will donate those and I'm trying to replace with ones that I reach for. And right now I wanna reach for the baggier cuts, I'm just feeling it. It's so funny because usually I'm like, cover up the top and it's okay with the, the legs being tighter. But right now I want the legs looser and I'm even okay with like a little strip of tummy showing. It's like, who is she? That's just, I'm just feeling it, I'm feeling it right now. So I'm gonna go home and order those. I guess I should put this thing away. It automatically disconnects when the car play takes over the padding. When I open the case, it says that. But yeah, I'm gonna go home. And I gotta pee, cause I had that little coffee. I didn't drink all of it, but almost all. And it's caffeinated. <laughs> Thanks for coming with me. I know, I know I didn't show you everything at the mall. It's, this mall's a hot mess. It's just so many junky stores but they're trying to revive it. And funny enough, Express had gone out of business and they were selling everything liquidating for ages. Even they got down to like selling the mannequins and the stands and the furniture, but now it's back. It's just there again. It's kind of empty-ish. And the only evidence I saw was one of the stands in the window said, had like some sale stickers and there's a sticker that said sold. I'm like, did they buy it back? I'm so confused. I don't know why it's back. <laughs> like, was it all a trick? Was it a fever dream? I don't know. But I'm gonna head home because the day's gonna go fast. But yeah, I feel like it was successful. I at least know what to order and it's all good. I think I did my final messing around with Gustav. He's probably really angry at me, but I brushed off all the wet dirt. Like the super dry dirt I had put in there was damp, not soaked. So that's a good sign, it wasn't soaked. But he does have a really compacted root ball that's still the shape of the old pot. And I didn't want to piss him off by trying to pry it apart. I don't know how to do that. So I just brushed everything that was loose I could off of all sides of the root ball. And again, put him in some nice dry dirt. And I didn't want to cut anything, but I just cut, I don't know, this one right here in front of you. There, there he is. I just cut that. And it's now in here. 
we're gonna try to propagate and then this guy had some great roots i don't have any other pot other than that i got that from a neighbor so that's what we're doing but i expect there's gonna be a lot of yellow leaves happening because of both the root ball still being too wet no sunshine outside to help that and transplant shock a little bit of that so yeah don't love that for me but at least somebody's happy with her happy flowers frida is happily flowering away anyway sebastian should be rolling up any moment now i placed an order for jeans i ordered two different pairs in zero short it's so weird but the website at least did tell me that the regular inseam is 32 on those which seems crazy long <laughs> so they were all different i have a pair that i've been wearing recently that are zero regular and they're totally fine and i looked at the listing for that and it said their inseam was 31 and a half which is only a half inch shorter but like legit these jeans were two inches too long but i guess it's just because they're like really low-waisted i don't know i'm trying to do things one-handed can i get this tea bag out probably not you're gonna help me there we go so i just looked at the inseams and if it's a 32 which both the ones i decided to go with said I ordered zero short. I can return them to the store. I can exchange them, I think, in the store too. I don't know. I just, I, I hope they work. It's annoying to have to wait, but I got free shipping because it's free shipping over 50 and the jeans are like $59, I think, for one pair, but they always have buy one, get one free. So you have to buy two, but then they, turned out to be $30 so I had the free shipping but then also because I put them in my cart at the mall and then I came home <laughs> by the time I got home it was like you left this in your cart here's 15% off which they also gave me 15% off my shirt in the store they said if we take your email address we can give you 15% off which was $3 and I'm like, I'm already on your mailing list, but I'll give you the exact same email address. <laughs> so yeah, I guess they just hand out that 15% like candy, which not complaining because I saved over $8 with that too. So I think it came after tax to $50 even-ish, $50 and some change for two pairs of jeans. So that's good, $25 each. And Maybe this weekend I need to make myself start going through jeans, which means trying on a billion skinny jeans, which is so annoying because some of the ankles, it's hard to get my feet there and I got bony feet. I hear the bus. It's a coming. It's a coming. Can we see it? There it goes. There goes. Plus is coming. Okay, well I'm gonna go get him. Thank you for listening to all my chatter today. You guys are the best. I have all the under eye circles today. I'm so tired. <sighs> today instead of homework and tomorrow, Sebastian has a review for a test in math and they're trying to start encouraging him to do his study skills he is way behind on all that so hopefully they'll be covering that in his little IEP groups so she sent out a packet that just had photos of whiteboards for four different topics that are covered and I decided to just go with worksheets I still have a account on education.com until it expires sometime very soon probably but there's no way he's gonna do these without epic epic tantrums 
unless I make it non-writing. So I've printed out answer sheets and I'm cutting out the answers and these will be a glue it down kind of situation. I actually did find one that was already like that. But I'll probably pre-cut this just so we can get through these faster. Hopefully I can convince him to do one of them before dinner. The homework window has passed us by because I didn't get a reply from her until he was already outside playing. Had been playing for ages. <laughs> she had a meeting. So yeah, we'll see if we can do one since it's all going to be gluing. The only one I don't have that's going to be gluing is a greater than or less than. And I think I'm just going to cut this so it's only six problems. I think that's good. So that's what I'm doing. Danny just took the dog to the vet, which I appreciate because I have a great deal of anxiety about going there because of saying goodbye to Benny there. And I, I got that out. He's been annoyed at me for saying that I'm too anxious to go there. And finally, in person, he was able to ask me like last week, just go, like, what are you upset about? And I was able to say what I was upset about and instantly just like burst into tears, could barely get it out because it was the worst moment of my life. And it's hard to go there. And that was that. He made an appointment for after work today. So I appreciate that he's going. I take care of all the grooming stuff. It's a couple doors down. I'm a little, as I walk past, but you gotta deal with everything else. Anyway, putting that out of our minds, I'm gonna deal with this. And, yeah, I'll see you later. Hello everyone, it is time to say good night. Just had a bath. We were just really like on dinner. We had no clue. So we ended up going to a Mexican place where kids eat free on Wednesdays. So that's good. Plus I can get black bean crispy tacos where nobody else will do that for me. I love that. But I ate way too much. My stomach was already getting into the acidy ouchy phase. And yeah, that pushed it over the edge. It really hurts. <laughs> it's really full. I probably should take a Tums or something. I usually just suffer and then hours or days later I'm like, hey, maybe I should take something for this. And then suddenly I feel better. So I'm not one that likes to take medicine, but I can handle just taking a Tums. Anyway, Sebastian did two of the four review sheets I did. That was good. And no complaints, really. So I put those in his school folder so that his teacher could see. I don't think she looks every day like his teachers in the past. I've sent notes there and they just she doesn't see them. The roots right here are crazy. I wonder if I should cut this one off. And this one's like that, too. I can choose one of these, maybe. Anyway, please say a prayer, send positive energy, whatever wish and hope, thoughts and prayers that Gustav pulls through. But I'm expecting a lot of yellow leaves because I harassed him so much today, rubbing up all against his roots. 
but hopefully it'll bounce back. I've read that they just get really overdramatic <laughs> when you do stuff to them, but then they're happier later because you pruned them. Anyway, yeah, we had dinner, had a bath, tummy hurts. I think that's everything. I took you along through my whole day. I don't usually say it, but if you like the video, give it a like, subscribe. And usually I don't really care, but I would love to have money. And if I could make money off of videos that I make every day, that'd be great. And I've been really down on myself for not getting like crochet videos out very fast and being uncertain about how I want to do them and feeling so unproductive. And then the other day I just realized I make a video every single day, a video that's usually between 10 minutes and 30 minutes long every single day. I should maybe feel proud of maybe feel a little better, give myself some grace. It's a lot. Give myself a little pat. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna get to bed. Tomorrow there is a PTA meeting at the high school, but I just don't think I could walk to and from that, get ready for my picnic lunch at the elementary school and get there in time because like if the PTA meeting is an hour it'd be 9 30 to 10 30. it takes 20 minutes to walk home and i have to be in the school at 10 45 the elementary school which is a 10 minute walk from home so yeah i'm going to try the google meet version and see how that goes and then I'll have time to pack up some lunch. Sebastian's gonna buy, but I'm gonna bring like fruit salad and stuff and whatever I eat. I feel like I don't need to eat for like a million years. I'm so full. You found the toy catalog? Yeah. Yes. Is it a bike? Oh, well you have a real bike yeah. for bikers. You have a truck. Anyway, I'm gonna say good night. Busy day tomorrow. And I'm this is really what? tired and I woke up at 5.07. It's like, why? My alarm's what? going off at 5.30. Oh, he has game table. You can switch. That's cool. They're already stopped sending. This isn't the one I have. Pretty close to Yeah, it's similar. They make a new model every year. Anyway, good night. Stay safe. Be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands.